So he's teaching his mind. Connections difficult again. So Gurudev is reading the 12th shloka of the Manashiksha. Is the Fala Shruti, the fruit of... What is the meaning of Fala Shruti? The meaning, the fruit of hearing or listening or speaking, the Manashiksha is here. Anyone who, adopting the line of Shirup and his followers, takes up residence in Gokula Van and loudly sings this 11 excellent instruction to the mind, in a melodious voice, with full understanding of their meaning, will certainly obtain the matchless gem of worshipping Shirada Krishna. Yeah, connection is very difficult. I don't know if we'll be able to do this live. Mm. Uh, you know, I have the recording of yesterday, uh, more of yesterday's evening class. Gurudeva from Gurudeva. Maybe we could translate that class instead because this one live is very difficult. We then when we get the recording, we can re translate this one live. I mean, not live, the recording. Isn't it better? Now I can translate the class, last class that Gurudev gave eight hours ago, evening in India. It was difficult, it was very hard to translate live, but I got the recording, I can translate that now. And this one now, now it's also difficult to see live, I can translate later. What do you think? Okay. Okay, so I'll translate now the class, actually, uh, evening class. Oh wait, I think that they started another live. Where's my phone? Here. Yeah, they started a new one. Let's see if it's working. So Sajuta. Sajuta, this is the 12th verse of Manashuksha. Sajuta means, refers to Rupanuga Vaishnavas who are possessed of the same inclination, who are soft hearted and affectionate, and who are more advanced than oneself. So, Sajatya, the person has the same mood, Sajatya, like-minded. Like-minded, the person has the same mood. Snigda, also their heart is very pure, neat and clean. So, O português está acontecendo? Tá? A Didi está traduzindo? One should remain under the guidance of such persons. Although Lalita Devi and other Sakis are independent Naikas, heroines, and Juteshwaris, they remain, remain under the guidance of Shimati Radhika. C 
Similarly, although Uttam Bhagavata Vaishnavas may be spiritual master for many disciples, they are followers of Shirupa Goswami. In this connection, we find the following statement from Sri Ujjwani Lamani. Like Narottam Shamananda Shanivas, they are great acharyas and gurus, but all of them still they have accepted the guidance under of Rupa Goswami. If you say, "Oh, oh, I am guru. Why would I be under anyone's guidance?" No, it's not like that. So all the acharyas they must. Say under the guidance of Rupa Goswami, meaning you have to accept the conceptions of Rupa Goswami Pad. So John Lamani explains verse page 118. Although Lalita and other principal Sakis are fully competent as group leaders, Juteshwais, they are extremely eager to please their dear most Radhika and therefore they prefer to adopt the mood of attendant Sakis. They do not care to assume the mood of independent Juteshwari Naikas. So Lalita and the Sakis, that's the Sakis. Who are the Ashtasakis? All of them. Tell. Lalita Vishaka Sudevi Rangadevi. Induleka. Tungabidya Chitra. So they are actually, they are Swatantra Naika, they are independent heroines, and they are all qualified to be Juteshwaris, group leaders, but. Because they have so much affection for Srimati Radhika. They remain under the guidance of Srimati Radhika. So, like yesterday I also told. There is no Saki as equal, like in the same level of Srimati Radhika. Because the Bhav of Srimati Radhika is the highest Bhav. The highest bhav. Shastra explains. The Madanakya Mahabhav is the highest bhav. The last limit of divine love. The prem increases, 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 and there's no more place to for it to grow. It's like it's up to the ceiling. There's no uh, space to for it to grow more. The prema like a, a, achieves its limit. So So this the highest bhav is bhava ulas rosho udgami. This is present in Shemati Radhika, this mood. This Bhavulasa Rasa Udgam, this highest mood, is only in Shemati Radhika. The highest limit of Madanaka Mahabhav. Shastra explains. In the Rasha Sastra, we see who can achieve uh, until which Rasa, which mood. And the highest mood is only in Shemati Radhika. 
She has Madanakya Mahabhav. Lalit and Vishaka, they don't have this uh, Madanakya Mahabhav. They, they attain until Mohan Bhav. So Madanakya Mahabhav, it's the monopoly. Do you know what is a monopoly? Only she has control over it. Only. Who? Shumateradita. Only Shumateradita. Only Shumateradita, she has the monopoly over the Madanakya Mahabhav. Shasta explains all this. The queens of Dharaka, they attain until Rura Bhav. But Adirura Mahabhav, to attain Adirura Mahabhav. Then Shasta explains. This Adirura Mahabhav. Only in the Sakis we can see that. But there are other stages after Adirura Mahabhav. Mohan and Madan. So the highest, this highest mood. So according to this, the Bhava Madura, the sentiments, they the moods they manifest according to this sequence. So if you say, well, then how come Chandravali is like the rival of Shmati Radhika? If you only Shmati Radhika has these highest moods, because you will only able you are only able to fight someone if that person has the same level. Like a king can fight a king, a pandita can fight a pandita. Like this debate the, the shastras with another pandita. You know, a foolish man will debate with another foolish man. Do you understand? Shasta explains, and Shasta explains. So the Murka, the foolish person is quarreling with another foolish person. And the Panditas, they are also like discussing logic with other Pandita. Like Tarka, Bibad. Like these debates, philosophical debates. But one foolish man... He's debating or fighting with another foolish man. So one pandita will also discuss uh, so this is the logic. And the king he will fight another king. Do you understand? Because when you're s someone is equal, then it's, you can, you know, you, uh, dispute something with that person. That's why Bhagavan Vishnu chose Jai Vijay. Because actually they were not on the same level of Bhagavan Vishnu, because no one is equal to him, he's God, you know. Bhagavan, he is Sarva Shaktiman. He's Asamurda Tata. He's like incomparable. There's no one equal to him. So how how would somebody nobody can even be higher uh, equal to him? What to speak of higher? So So Bhagavan Vishnu thought. Okay, maybe somebody who can little bit also give me, like, beat me also a little bit is Jai Vijay. So, that's why Bhagavan Vishnu, he, he decided if Jai Vijay go to Marta Lok, to the material world, and if they have the de uh, de uh, demon, demoniac mood, then they will fight me. Because if they have the mood of the devotee, they will never ever fight me. If they would have the the mood of a devotee, they would never fight me. 
because the devotees there are naturally humble. So the the devotees are always meek and humble. So they will never fight God. But those who are demons, they don't believe in God, they demonic mood. So Bhagavan, if it's Yoga Maya, he created this pastime. So then Yoga Maya arranged that the four Kumaras the curse, did that curse and everything, this and that. Actually, all this was just like some, um, like, um, excuse or externally like how things would happen because the real reason it was that it was the desire of Krishna to do this Lila. Krishna, Vishnu thought if Jai Vijay would, it will go to earth planet and they will be like demons then they will fight with me. Bhagavan knows that no one is like actually they are not equal to him never but Bhagavan chose them anyway. And also Bhagavan also gave potency in their heart. Do you understand? So in the same way, so Chan sorry, Chandravar is not actually a rival to Shumate with Shumate Radhika. So how the Pramamadura will be able to manifest? If there is an, no one rival, rival if a rival is not there in the opposition party there won't be so much uh, happiness and fun so in the class for example if there's a first boy and a second second boy then there's like some some disputes and they feel happiness also like competing or if there's not a second boy is not there so the first boy what would he do he'll not feel so much happiness <laughs> he won't feel so much happiness this is true or not? Like a football match also, for example. If there's no uh, if there's no uh, rival team, then that who will come to see a football match to watch a football match if so they want to see uh, which uh, team is playing? Is it a strong team? They want to see uh, like they feel interest seeing a football match if that football match there is not the two teams are very strong and they are competing otherwise why would they pay for see watch a football match if it wasn't so nice like um rat a mouse cannot fight with the lion means it's so easy you know for a lion killing a mouse it's like so yeah there's like this fight or di dispute between someone who is like equal or almost like on the same level rival so Jagamaya saw no one is in the same level of Shumati Radka. only some some are there like Larita Vishaka they're almost in the level of Shumati Radka, but they don't want to rival her they don't want to become the they don't have the Swatantra Naika this independent hero in position and Jutaishwari group leader so Jagamaya chose Chandravali to do that role but Sometimes I tell a story that actually, in one place, the Ramalila was going on, like a like presentation of the best times of Ram. So, the actor who was performing the Lila was very famous, the actor that was performing Ram Lila. He was very famous. You know, sometimes they have like a theater company that is going many places and they are always making these dramas and the people of the villages they come <laughs> okay they will show the Ramlila in the, in the in the village like they will present so they perform they um, build a very big tent thousands of villagers they came for one or two days to see the drama you know, generally they make it for seven days or nine days, uh, the Ram Lila, uh, the presentation of the pastimes of Ram. It was really nice. 
So they took, they showed since the birth of Rama, all the past times they showed people. They were everyone was so happy to see that uh, show that play. So the last day, the last Lily, in the last day, was like the kill of uh, the death of Ravan. So every day they were announcing. Like today will be the birth birth of Ram. And the second day will be the marriage of Ram and Sita. So they had like the schedule of each day, what which Lila would happen in each day. And then in the last day, the last day, the last schedule, last uh, presentation would be uh, Ravan Bad Lila, means the death of Ravan. And then they would finish the play. Then there will be a great. Then it would be. Uh, they, they would give a great feast for everyone. So everyone was very happy. Because every day there were thousands of people coming to see Ramlila Kata. Everybody was glorifying, like praising. Oh, this is Ramlila you're presenting. It's so blessed. It's so amazing. No one in the past nor in the future have had had presented in such a nice way this Ramlila. Because it depends on the actors, no? It depends on the actors. Oh, sorry, the director, the management. It will depend on the manager, sorry, not in the actors, on the manager. It's very important, the management of the play. Like, for example, our preaching will be successful. It will depend on the organizer, the manager, the organizer of the preaching, of the... If the organizer is good, then your preaching will be good also. In India or Western countries? Both. What is the, the organizer? How much the organizer is sacrificing himself for that thing? Otherwise, yes, Maharaj, come. Then when I come, he's like sleeping and not uh, organizing anything or arranging anything. The organizer, he has to give all his energy. Communication, calling the people, doing the advertisements. It's very difficult to arrange. So all the preaching depends on the on the organizer. So I, I, we saw in the time of Gurudev. I went in India and Western countries, many places. I went with Gurudev, I traveled with him. So the Westerners, so this preaching of Gurudev in the Western countries. So the Indian devot devotees and Western devotees, they gave so much like uh, endeavor, efforts to preach for Gurudeva. Like before Gurudeva go to a place, two, three months before, the Westerns were already preaching in that area, these devotees, and preaching. And they were arranging a place for Gurudeva to stay. First, you have to see where Gurudeva will stay. Isn't it? A nice place they have to arrange. A... Gurudeva was a hard patient, so... And he was also like elder, so they had to arrange properly, everything properly and nicely, a place for Gurudev, uh, the organizer have to do that, isn't it? Another point, also the preaching, how it would be, how it would be, the preaching. The places, the temples, the programs, making like pamphlets and distributing Oh, a saint is coming, like announcing the program, preaching, means calling the people for the programs for two, three months they were making before this. So before Gurudeva come, the Westerners were doing all this for him. Do you understand? Preaching, like arranging the program and announcing for the program. And they used to also meet some special people to uh, to help because for example for preaching you need two things money power and manpower are important for the preaching do you understand so the last program that i did for gurudeva in 2010 in january 2010 the vesa puja of gurudeva I had to put my whole energy into it in Brazil. I went to all the places of Brazil. I went everywhere like for an, to announce the program. Gurudev was in Italy at that time. 
I didn't attend the program in Italy. Why? Because I, I gave my all energy announcing the program in Brazil. First of all, I had to get money to, to get money. The team of Gurudev will come. So I have to pay for tickets for everyone. This was the first thing. So six months before, Brajanata told, this, all these people will go and have to arrange a ticket for everyone. And Gurudev used to go in first class. So it's so expensive. Economic class is cheaper, but the first class is 10 times more expensive than economic class, business class. So business class is more expensive and even more expensive first class. Then you also have to check the airlines. It's like British Airlines or Dutch Airlines. Should be a good airlines, very nice airlines. So we have to arrange also this. So all the schedule, like the schedule, have to prepare and check these things. Brazil is a poor country, not a rich country, Brazil. I saw. So that's what I'm saying. So the management, he has to give so much, like so much effort, time, like uh, endeavors. Like first of all, financial, so money, power. And second, to uh, call the people, or collect the people, like to gather the people. You have to make teams. So like in this city, that city, again and again, you have to push the people because they're getting hostage. They don't have so much time. So again and again, you have to insist. And I was going also from city to city and I had to preach also. Do you understand? So it depends on the preaching of the, sorry, in the organizer. So the preaching depends on the organizer. How much you're preaching will be progress and go well. But actually everything's in the hands of Bhagavan. How many people will come or not? Those who Bhagavan inspire in the heart, they will come. And those who Bhagavan don't inspire, they will not come. So this isn't after that, like you do your part, rest is in the hands of Bhagavan. So anyway, I was telling about ah, okay, they were performing Ram Kata, like the play, the drama of Ram Kata in one village. For nine days they were making this play. The organizing organizer was very good. So in the last day they were uh, killing Ravan, the past time of killing Ravan. What happened? That person who was, that person who, who was Ravan, the, the actor that we used to play the role of Ravan, he became sick that sick on that day. So he he fell sick, he fell ill. Who would do the role of Ravan? Because to play the role of Ravan, you. You must be the, like a special man, like strong man, tall man, isn't it? He must speak well. So you saw the actor that did Ravana in the Ramananda Sagar, Ramayana, from the di director Ramananda Sagar. You see, all the actors are perfect. Rama, Sita, Hanuman, all of them, they were playing, playing the role perfectly. Lakshman also, Bharat. Even Koikei, Koshala, all the actors and actresses, all the um, characters of that um, of the um, series of the Ramayana, di directed by Ramananda Sagar, they were perfect. Like the actors playing the role, they were perfect. And, and the, they also were trained very well, all the actors, like to play the role perfectly. And the organizer is arranging all this. So anyway, I was telling about the Ravana. So Ravana, the, the actor who was playing Ravana, he fell ill. Okay, in the other days, Sita was kidnapped and everything, but in the last day of the presentation of the of the play, the Ravan had to be killed. But that day, by the desire of Bhagavan, Ravan, he fell ill. So everybody was desperate what to do. You know, we have to end, end sweetly. So if we don't do properly the last day of the play, how it will be terrible, you know, have to end it nicely. So, but who will make the role of, who will play the role of Ravan? Who liked the role? So they needed a tall man, like like tall and like speaking well and like maybe fat, like big body. Then they saw 
the organizer told, let's do one thing, search, search any person in the village who is, who is, has this, because he fell ill suddenly now, so what to do? So they had to present the play 7 p.m. And 5 p.m. suddenly he went to hospital sick. So who will become the Ravan? The, the, who will play Ravan? Only two hours before the play this happened. Who they will catch to, to perform the play? So there was in the village a man who was frying puris, you know, those who cook puri. His name was Hal. Halwai, Halwai, I think person who is making puri katori, like frying and working with these things, uh, cooking and frying. He was also very big, so they told. His name was Dashananda. His name was Dashananda. So they used to call him Dashananda Halubai. Halubai, I think, because he's frying and cooking this puri and these things. Dashananda, his name. Dashananda, actually, name of Ravan, original name. No, no, I don't know. I'm just a cook. No, no. It's very easy. Everything already happened. You just need to go to the stage and play Ravana Dying. You just need to go. We'll give you some, some bow and arrow in your hands. Then you just say, I'll kill Ram. And Ram will tell, I will kill Ravan. Only this, your own line. One line only. Then it, today is the last day. It's very quick. He will cut off your head. But it will be like a fake, we'll give you a fake, fake thing that will pretend you're dead. That's it, very easy. So first of all, he didn't want to accept. He said, no, no, I cannot do this. And I never acted. I never spoke in front of people in public. I'm shy. No, no, don't worry. We'll make you like we produce you very well. Don't worry. Just you have to stand for two minutes on the stage. That's it. Two minutes only on the stage. Okay, and so, so, then Ramachana told, Hey, wicked, you, debauchee, womanizer, I didn't come not only to deliver my wife, you're foolish, like Rama telling to Ravan, telling Ravan, I will cut off all your heads, but that man forgot when Ramachandra thought like this. No, no, no. He was he, because he was thinking it was for real. No, no. And what about my wife? What about my kids? Like he, he came out of the role, you know. He forgot he was playing a role, so he was afraid of Ram. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I have my shop. I have my kids. My wife will take care of me. No. No, no. So the man forgot. When, on the stage, he said like this to Ram. No, no, don't, don't kill me. Don't shoot an arrow on me. Okay, you can cut all my other nine heads, but keep one head with me because Ravan had ten heads. Then he ran away and took hold of the feet of Ram and crying. Imagine. Oh, please uh, uh, protect me, protect me. So how come? You know, because he, he came out of the role of Ravan. Ravan was not supposed to do that. Did you understand? So what I want to say is that So here if if there will be someone rival with Shamataradka, then then this Lila will be even more like a, a relishable and nice. But Lalita and Vishaka they are in the same level of Shamataradka, but they don't want to rival her. So in the Astasakis, none of, none of them want to be rival. They could be, but they don't want. They don't want to be independent heroines, Swatantanaika, nor uh, Juteshwari, group leaders also. They don't want to be the Astasakis. So that's why Jogamaya arranged to make the Lilas more amazing and relishable. Uh, Jogamaya chose Chandrabali. Do you understand or not? Do you understand? You get it? So Gurudev is reading. Last Lokamana Shiksha. 
page 119, on the top. Rupa Goswami enunciated the principles of Rasa on the order of Shema Mahaprabhu. He performed his own bhajan in accordance with those principles and thereby established the ideal standard of Raja Bhajan for the whole world. Shijiva Goswami, Shiragunata Das Goswami and other Rasika Acharyas follow this system. To follow this method of bhajan is known as Shirupanuga Bhajan. So in this context, Srila Bhaktivinu Thakur wrote something about it. Small thing, small matter. About Ananga Manjari. So she's the younger sister of Shmateradka, Ananga Manjari. So the bhajan under the guidance of Ananga Manjari is, is highest, higher. Do you understand? But generally, what is more famous is to do bhajan under the guidance of Rupa Manjari. But our seventh Goswami, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, who is Kamala Manjari, he showed the highest service of performing uh, service to Shumatratka under the guidance of Ananga Manjari. Like Srila Vishwanath Chakravati Pada in the Shri Krishna Bhavanamrita, he describes the glories of Radha Kunda. And he explains that in the middle of the Radha Kunda, there's, it's the Kunja of Ananga Manjari. In the Kunja of Ananga Manjari, many kinds of super confidential lilas take place. Okay, I'll continue the kata. So I just have to be careful, I mean, be at, give attention about the speciality of the Radha Kunda. Because the Radha Kunda is non different from Shemata Radhika. So Aracharis, especially Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he said, the glories of the Radhakund is that he's non different, Radhakund is non different from Shumati Radhika. to speak about the Itsakis, the bhavas of the Itsakis. So it's written about Radha Kunda and the Kunjas of the Sakis. So in the four directions around Radha Kunda, Especially there is the place of Lalita Saki. So, all the, each Saki has a Kunja with their names. Like for example, the name of the Lalita Saki is Lalita Ananda Kunja. The Kunja of Vishaka, Vishaka Ananda Kunja. Do you understand? So, here it explains
So Dona Coveira is the presiding deity of certain direction. And in this direction is the Kunja of Lalita Devi. Lalita Nanda Kunja. So this is the north. North. In the north east is Vishaka, the Kunja of Vishaka Devi. The presiding deity of sorry in so in the south is the Kunja of Champakalata. The south generally is presided by Jama Maharaj, Jama Maharaj, and in that direction is the Kunja of Champakalata, the south. So the east is the Kunja of Chitra. The east is presided over Indra, the east direction. And there is the Kunja of Chitra. Varuna Deva, he presides over the west. And there is the Kunja of Tunga Bidda. In the Leka Kunja is, I think, uh, sorry, I lost. Pashtim Uttar, uh, Northwest. Sorry, sorry, Guru Dev, I, I lost. Okay. So there are 10. There are, there's no Kunja up. There's no Kunja up. So that's so there are eight kunjas in, in the eight directions, not ten directions, eight. So actually the kunjas all belong to the sakas, but then the sakis they took uh, possession of them. So in the Radha Sarovar or Radha Kunda, in the middle of this kunda, there's a beautiful kunja. It's the Kunja of the sister of Shumate Radka, Ananga Manjari. She's presiding that Kunja. So it's in the middle of the water of the Radha Kunda. So how do they go if it's in the middle of the water? Jogamaya created a, like a bridge full of jewels. Do you understand? Otherwise, how can they go? Because it's in the middle of the Radha Kunda. There's a Kunja in the middle of the Radha Kunda called Swananda Sukada Kunja. It's the place of An Ananga Manjari. Where many confidential pastimes of Radha Govinda take place there. Especially in the summertime, Shimatratka. Uh, sorry, I lost. Like saying how Shimatratka is also there with Ananga Manjari in the Radha Kunda, and so this description of the Kunja of Radha Kunda. So, Jogamaya presents these beautiful kunjas. So, externally, the kunja looks like a big lotus blossoms, blooms lotus. And, for example, some lotus are blue. And the kunja also, when you look from far, it looks like a blue lotus, big blue lotus. Like, from far, you cannot see it's a kunja. You just see a big lotus flower. Another one is like red lotus like a red flower blossomed and from far it looks like a red flower but it's actually a kunja when you come closer then see shwetambuj kunja also the kunja it look, looks like a white lotus blossomed bloom bloom blossom bloom, bloom. so this place is so beautiful enchanting charming so the bumblebees, the honeybees, they are humming and cuckoo birds also singing. Peacock, peahen. Spreading its feathers and dancing. So um, unprecedented, beautiful place.
So around the Radakunda, there are many kunjas. Shamatratka herself, she comes to these places and have darshan of these places. And seeing the arts of the sakis, like the how they're, what is kala? Not kala, not banana. Art, kala. The, to be ex expert in different arts, seeing their expertise. Shimatradka glorifies the sakis when she sees how expert they are. And when Krishna comes, Krishna also sees. And also he praises them so much. So in the book Shri Krishna Bhava Namrita, all this is described. All this is Prema Udipak, stimulations of Prema. So all these lilas are there. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur explains. So these beautiful kunjas, they are ornamented and each lotus is blossoming. The kunj is so beautiful and fragrance, so much fragrance, perfume. The kunja is like cleans and like to sweep the kunja and clean with cloth. But they also apply perfume and everything is so fragrant and scented. A guru, chandan, sandalwood. So the kund is cleaned with these also fragrances. And everyone's heart, mind is so happy, bliss, ananda. There's so many descriptions. How the sakis are I don't need the last pastimes there. So this is completely divine and transcendental. All these places are transcendental. So in this last look of the Manashiksha, in the Fala Shruti, the fruits of hearing, it's saying. So especially the glories of Vrindavana is more glorious than Mathura. So I told yesterday, two parikramas in Vrindavana are very famous. Antar Griha Parikrama and another one is the Brihat Brindavana Parikrama. So if you do uh, Radha Kunda Nanda Gaon Varshana, this is always <gasps> sorry, Brihat Brindavana Parikrama and Antar Griha Parikrama is like for example. When you go to Vrindavan and do the Panchakrosi Parikrama, we take two hours or two and a half hours to go five koshas Parikrama around Vrindavan. And another Parikrama is outside Braja Mandala, around everything. This 84 krosh of Vrindavan Parikrama. From like outside, around everything. Vrindavan is such a sweet dham. Yesterday I told, I said, who is the Alistrati Devi that's presiding the age of Vrindavan? It's Shematiratka herself. The speciality of Vrindavan is what? 
when Krishna appears and performs his pastimes, seeing the beautiful glow of Krishna's body, the peacock he's so, so becomes so happy. Krishna, the peacock sees Krishna and he thinks Krishna is like a new moon, a new cloud. Sorry, like a new red, fresh rain cloud. And then the peacock opens its feathers and starts dancing so happily. So where the peacocks they're dancing by seeing Krishna. So my Vrindavan, I'm, I don't I don't know where Gurudev is reading from. So Vishabhanandeshmatiradika, she thinks Vrindavan is mine. It's not yours. It is. So mind, she has this madeta bhav, mind. Who is the friend of the Surya? Vrishabhanu, Maharaj. Atmaja means the daughter of Vrishabhanu Maharaj. So my Vrindavan, my Vrindavan. May I have this also conception for Vrindavan? What is this verse? So because Vrindavan is like the kingdom of Shemati Radhika, the creepers, the deer, the pea, pea called pea hens, the female birds, they are always so happy. Okay, I found. Page 122. So for example, if in your village, a woman, a woman is the president. Then you think, oh, or like the the the, the governor of your area. You think you women are happy also because a one of mine is also president. So that's why in the nowadays politics they want to also elect women because give chance to women to be elected also. Because in this way, and also a uh, chance for the women to vote also. Because if you, you think if a woman wins as like a governor or something of your area, you think, oh, you should listen to my complaints. Like a woman will want to vote in a woman because she'll think, oh, she'll be able to understand my mood and help the women. And so the sufferings that women feel, men cannot understand. Men, men cannot understand. So, the sufferings of a woman's heart, a man won't understand. That's why if a politician is a woman, then you think, oh, at least you listen to my, to me, to me, what's like my sorrows and everything, these problems of the villages. So if the, this woman becomes a minister, she will also help us and listen to us. So, otherwise who will listen to us? So, should Sri Raja, he is also saying, like a woman, a governor. So, Vrindavanesha Shrimati Radhika, she is the Sri Raja, she's like the, um, she's ruling in Vrindavana, she's actually governing in Vrindavana. So, all the feminine gender, all the uh, uh, creepers, the peahens, the female deers, they are so happy. Oh, Gurudev 122. This Vrindavan is mine. Now verse 7, 123. So Gurudev read verse 6, 122. And now verse... Seven next.
Em Vrindava Nadam, Shigiriraj Govardhan, having been awarded the extremely rare title of being the topmost servant of Hari by the gopis. So the title to Giriraj Govardhan was given this title, Hari Das Varja, the best servant of Sri Hari. The best servant of Sri Hari is Giriraj Govardhan. So, Pad means designation. The Gopis gave the designation to Giriraj of being the best of the servants of Sri Hari. Do you understand? So before, in, in other times, the, the kings the, he used to give uh, titles for his followers. Which kind of titles? Titles of servants. So that the person would have the seva kabiman, the ego of being a servant. So the Kings would give titles of dasa, servants, to the people. So, like for example, Bumadikari, someone who had some, I don't know, Bumadikari. Maybe you're not understand. I'm just telling you something about the history. Bumik title, Basak, many different titles people used to get at that time. In the story it's written, this in the history, in the history you see. So the title given was, to Giriraj, which title he got? Haridasa Varja, the best of the servants of Sri Hari. Srimad Bhagavatam explains about the glories of three Haridasas. One, Judici Maharaj, another, Udav, and third, Giriraj Govardhan. But my name and nor your name are not on this list, our names. Maybe later our names will come in this list, huh? In the future, maybe, he saying. This verse is so beautiful. Do you have? Do you know it? You forgot everything. You forget everything. You don't memorize it. Speak it a thousand times, then you know. You can know. So, in that land is situated the arena of Rasa Dance. Page 123, middle verse. Which thoroughly astonishes the gopis or even the queens of Dwaraka, like Shirukmini and Satyabhama. Being surround, surrounded by forests of trees full of fragrant flowers, foliage and blossoms, Shivranavana radiates as a lustrous splendor, glowing with sweetness. May that Shivranavan naturally become my soul shelter. If a sinless person who has conquered his senses is intent intently engaged in the cultivation of unallowed devotion, and if while residing in Vrindavan he lovingly recites this composition that stimulates remembrance of the qualities of Shivrindavana, the best of all forests, he will obtain ecstatic love for the lotus feet of Sri Krishna, who wears a yellow garment and is accompanied by Srimati Radhika, and he will become happily immersed in their pastimes. So if you read this ashtaka of these eight verses um, written by Rupa Goswami, after that you will attain 
You will become the directly servant of Shrimati Radhika. So the Manashiksha book is giving this benediction. So Manashiksha, composite, uh, page 124. 124. This composition known as Manashiksha offers instructions to the minds of persons who are anxiously desiring to pursue the path of bhajan. So again and again we have to study this book, to read this book. This Those who have an intense desire to worship Shirade Krishna Jugal with deep attachment by adopting the methods of Vrajabhajan in full accordance with the instructions of Rasa Acharya Shirupa Goswami should study Manashiksha with great love and serious attention to this commentary known as Bhajana Darpana. Thus ends this Dikdarshini Vritti, the translation and purport of the combined Sanskrit and Bengali commentary known as Bhajana Darpana composed by Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Time is up. Today is a special day. Today is non jatra. What is this non jatra? Jagannatha Devi is in Jagannatha Puri. Jagannatha Puri is one part of Dwaraka. Do you understand? So Dwaraka is like an expansion or amsha of Dwaraka. Rashi Bhagavan. Is with his uh, uh, 16,108 queens and he has many sons and daughters. Again and again, I tell this loka. So, better than Vaikunta is Dwarka. In Dwarka, Swain Bhagavan, he's always with his. Brothers, sorry, his brother and queens and wives and sons and daughters performing many pastimes. Just he's just like performing pastimes, just like a householder in Dwarika. Bhagavan also stays in Jagannatha Puri, relishing all these pastimes. But when Krishna was staying even in Dwaraka, he was actually remembering Vrindavan all the time. Krishna saw... Sorry, Mahaprabhu was in, in Puri and actually remembering Vrindavan. And he saw the sea and he remembered the Jamuna and he was jumping in the ocean. He saw like the, some forest of Jagannatha Puri, some garden and he was remembering Vrindavan. Krishna, although he is in Vrindavana with his body, sorry, Krishna is with his body, he is in Dwaraka, but with his mind, he is in Vrindavan. Do you understand? So, when Indra Dumna Maharaj prayed, prayed to Jagannatha Dev, he wanted to attain that type of bhakti. Then he said, okay, the Braja mood will come in your heart. Jagannatha told to Indra Dumna Maharaj. Jagannatha told Indra Dumna Maharaj. Then Indra Dumna Maharaj, he prayed to Jagannath. Hey Prabhu, this form, I want it to be always here. Which form? This form without arms, without legs. So, after after hearing Braj Kata, Bhagavan has melted by love. So uh, that form, Indra Dumna Maharaj wanted to see. So your best time place is in Vrindavan. So that I also want the benediction that those who touch 
the this dust of your lotus feet, which is colored by the kumkum of the breast of the gopis, can get the bhakti. And also that if you go to the pastime places and listen uh, about your pastimes that took place there, Gopi Bhav will appear in your heart. So Jagannath Dev gave this blessing. The end of the Brihad Bhagavatam, it is explained. So Bhagavan himself told. Like all the pastimes of Krishna, like Ram Navami, I have to be the, um, also uh, celebrated in Jagannath Puri. For example, in Ram Navami, they dress Jagannath as like Ram. They also uh, celebrate all these lilas until nowadays in the temple of Jagannath. Like in the summertime, like now summertime. So it's really hot now. We are sweating so much. And from the sweating, you feel like chi chi bhav. I don't know what explanation, but I think a grudando, like you, you like because you you sweat so much, like you're you're like how to say like um sticking feeling, because like the skin you are so all the time sweating. I don't know English term, but you're feeling like uh sticky. I don't know maybe. So, uh, so Jagannath wants to take bath takes a bath with the water of seven oceans and he bathed so much, so much, so much then Takurji got a cold, a cold because he bathed so much like cold. Then the deity got a cold from today. So in the evening time, the deity will go inside his temple and from tomorrow on there, will, there won't be any darshan in Jagannatha temple. The deity becomes sick. What to do? So without opening, with, without being able to see Jagannath, because the door is closed of the temple, Mahaprabhu would, would leave Jagannath Puri and he would go to a Lalnath. He would go a Lalnath. So this time is called Anavasar, like when, when the temple of Jagannath is closed because Jagannath is sick. I think 10 or 12 days, 15 days. So the door of the temple is closed. But they are serving the deity inside. So who is serving at that moment? The, the low caste. Vishwavasu. Those from the dynasty of Vishwavasu, the low caste. They serve. And when they, they, it is better than the, those from the dynasty of the Brahmanas, they serve. And they just give like uh, food for like sick, like uh, like tea, like kara, like like uh, kara. It's like a like a ginger tea with many other spices for for the health. Because the deity has its ro uh, his rose running and is sick like this. <laughs> 